What is going on? Welcome to another Beyond Plug and Play video. It is April 4th. I'm your host, Logic Motion, and today we have some gaming news, baby. Some gaming news. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into our first story of the day. Tekken Boss says younger players prefer team games so they can shift responsibility if they lose. Harada, which is the Tekken guy, he does all the Tekken decisions, says one-on-one -on -one fighting games need to change. So in one of the quotes he says, but most young people nowadays are the opposite. They're rarely eager to engage in a one-on-one -on -one showdowns, plus fighting games pit you by yourself against a single opponent. You have to accept all the responsibility if you lose. You can't blame anyone else. He also says, but maybe we could include other ways of competing outside of the main game. For example, maybe they don't always have to fight one-on-one. -on -one. They could opt for team battles such as three-on-three. I think there's a little truth to what Harada is saying, but I don't think it's as widespread as he might think. What I'm saying is there's 100% people that would, sh in a team situation, they're going to shift blame, right? That's 100% happening. But I also think that the reason people are playing these team games is just because you can play with more of your friends. So, you know, you play Apex, you play Warzone, you play, you know, uh, Call of Duty. You could play with like four or six of your friends all at once. You guys hop into a party. You can all play. So I think that really plays a role in why people play team based games. Uh, it's just I can play with more of my friends. You know, all of us can get together when it's a fighting game. You know, it's. It's one on one. We can all still play together, but it's one on one. We're not all actively playing. I think that's why people prefer team games. I don't think people prefer uh, team games because they can shift responsibility or shift the blame. I think that's ridiculous. I think it's mainly because, oh, I can play with more of my friends here. I can play with four of my friends instead of one of my friends. So that's that's really why people play team games. I don't think it's because they can shift responsibility. Now, if we're talking about on the competitive side, I, I would even say, I would even say on the competitive side, people are, they would own up to their mistake because those, those gamers are more mature and they, they know when they messed up. I would even compare it to like, like LeBron James, when he was in the finals with Miami Heat and he wasn't doing as, as well as he should have. And he knew that. And I, I think with these professional players, they know that too. They know when they're not playing up to standards. So I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't even compare this on a competitive level. I just think this is Harada being out of touch. I want to make a video on Tekken 8 and everything wrong with it. <laughs> it's a, I, I think it's a good game, but I think there's, there's a lot of issues that are coming out, especially now. But uh, I think, I don't know. I just think what he says here is out of touch. And I feel like he's just not in reality right now. I do like the idea of team-based stuff coming to Tekken. And maybe this is just an a interview to kind of just advertise that or showcase that one day Tekken 8 will have it. And I do think that would be fun. But I don't think people prefer team-based games because you can shift responsibility. I think people prefer team-based games because you can play with more of your friends. Microsoft is working on a Xbox AI chat bot. I don't know how I feel about this. In the article, it says that they're going to be using it mainly for Microsoft Xbox support. So like if I have an issue with my Xbox or my Game Pass subscription or I want a refund or something like that. And uh, I mean, maybe it'll be useful, but we have stuff like that already for support. And it's really not that great. Uh, you know, I think you always kind of need uh, actual physical real person on the other end just because something's going to come up and the bot's not going to know what to do or how to react or something like that. But I'm, I'm sure they'll have systems like that in place. Like you ask enough questions or you just go down a line of questioning and the AI is like, all right, I'm just going to get you with an agent. But there needs to just be an option to where like, hey, do you want to talk to the Xbox AI or do you just want to straight up talk to the agent? Like, boom, like those two options straight up because you're going to have people that prefer that prefer one or the other. You know, I don't really think this is a, a great use of AI, but you know, they'll get some data from it. They'll get some analytics from it and you know, they'll go from there. I, I don't think it's a, a great idea. I don't know how you're going to process refunds because I've always thought that refunds on console were like very rare. So like if the game was broken or, uh, they like lied about something or they just stopped updating it after like a month or something like that. Like a very rare scenario. It's like, I think cyberpunk, you're able to get a refund on Xbox and PlayStation just because the game had came out in such a shitty state. 
but I I can't really think of too many situations where Xbox or PlayStation allow refunds. So that is that's a very rare scenario. We also have hackers who got PS Portal to run PSP games offline help Sony to patch out the exploit. The team of Google Cloud vulnerability researchers responsibly reported the issue. A Google engineer who helped hack the PlayStation Portal to run PSP games offline says his team has now helped Sony to fix the exploit. A Google Cloud researcher, his name was Andy Wynn, was able to figure out a hack to run PSP games natively on the PlayStation Portal, which is pretty cool. And the PSP games, they don't take that much to run, so I could definitely see the Portal running it. Um, but he also turned in the hack. Like he said, hey, uh, Sony, this is the vulnerability. You guys need to fix this or whatever. Here, here's how I did it, right? And they patched it out in the next uh, update. And I don't think, I know some people are really upset about this. There's like a bunch of mean comments people are saying, but I don't think he's obligated to put that out in the world and have people play on it. I don't think he's obligated to do that. He doesn't owe us anything. We don't owe him anything. Like, I don't think he really needs to do that. And you know, like, there's plenty of other smart people out there and I'm sure somebody's going to find another workaround or something. Right. So this won't be the only guy that figures something out. Somebody could have already figured something out. They just haven't gone public with it, but you know, it's fine. We don't need this. It's not the end of the world. And I don't really think he should be getting any hate if he is, uh, or still is. I saw a couple of mean comments, but it's fine. It happens. All right. And last one, this is pretty important. We have a YouTuber by the name of Ross Scott. He's starting a new campaign called Stop Killing Games to stop developers from making games unplayable. And essentially, I'm just gonna summarize it, just a small thing here. Basically, imagine you buy a game like Warhawk or you buy a game like Defiance. Well, later on, let's say 10 years down the road, that game is server-based, it's online only they're gonna eventually stop supporting that game and you won't be able to connect, you won't be able to play, you won't be able to do anything with that game anymore. Even though you paid hard earned money for that game, you probably paid for microtransactions or whatever in that game, right? But there's no way to play that game ever again. This is a campaign to stop that from happening. Basically make the game in some way playable after uh, support is stopped. And Ross Scott, he goes on to explain it way better than I can, but it's basically to stop that from happening. Because I mean, how many how many times does that happen? Like, I, I can think of two games right off the bat, Warhawk, Starhawk, um, Defiance, those are three games, and they're probably not like the best games out there, but like I played those games and they were fun, they were good. And I want to play them in some capacity in the, you know, in the future or, you know, like now. <laughs> so, I hope this takes off. I I hope there's something we can do. Uh, we You need to be linking this to your friends, to your buddies, just everybody. Just check it out. Check out the video. It's pretty cool. And he goes into real detail. He's actually like, he's making an effort. He's not just talking like I am. I'm just talking. This guy's making an actual effort. So check it out. Uh, do him a huge favor. But yeah, check out Ross Scott. He's doing really good work over there. Check out his Stop Killing Games campaign. Um, I hope something happens from it. I hope he's able to actually get something done and it's just a better gaming future for all of us. With that being said, that's all the gaming news I have for today. Tell me what you think about the Xbox AI chatbot. I know it's whatever. Or tell me what you think about Harada saying people prefer team-based games because they can shift responsibility and not do one-on-one -on -one because they can't take the responsibility. Uh, tell me what you think about the PlayStation Portal and a developer being able to put PSP games on there and run them natively, just let me know what you think down below. Also, give me a thumbs up on the video if you liked the video. Give me a thumbs down on the video if you thought it was the worst thing ever, if you thought it sucked. Because we need that feedback, baby. We need that feedback. This has been Logic. Uh, if you made it this far into the video, uh, I would really appreciate a subscription. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, that's all I got. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Take care.